And so now, let's solve more sample problems. Now, the tangents of a simple curve intersect at an angle of 32 degrees. So, ito yan. This is the angle of intersection, which is 32 degrees. And the new radius ng curve is 402.21. So, R equals 402.21. And then first, we are to find the degree of the curve using arc basis. So, we have 2 pi R over 360 equals 20 over the degree of curve. However, since alam natin yung radius, this will be 402.21. And so solving D, we have 2 pi times 402.21 over 360 is equal to 20 over D. So we have 2.85. So the degree of curve is equal to 2.85 degrees. Now for the next question, we have to determine the area of the fillet of the curve. Now sir, what is that area? Now if you're asked this question, yung fillet ng curve is actually this area. Let's color it yellow. So this is the area of the fillet of the curve. Now sir, how are we going to get this area? Now di ba, first, we can draw a dividing line dito. And then this is perpendicular, saka ito rin. So di ba, this whole area, that's the area of the two triangles. Itong triangle na to, plus this triangle. That's the total area. And so if we'll subtract this area, now let's color it pink. Di ba, masusolve na natin yung area na to. So the whole area, which is the area of two triangles, minus this pink area, that's equal to this yellow area, which is what we are looking for. Yan. And then itong area na naka pink, that's just the sector of a circle. Now let's first consider our triangle. Let's color it blue. And then di ba, the area of a triangle is one half times base times the height. So we can consider this as our base, and then this will be our height. So first, we have to use the tangent function to solve the distance t. So di ba, if this is 32 degrees, then this is half of that. So this is 16 degrees. And so tangent of 16 degrees is opposite over adjacent, which is t, since that's opposite over the adjacent side, which is our radius. So we have 402.21. So our tangent distance will be 402.21 times tangent of 16 degrees. So we have 115.33. So this is 115.33. And so the whole area will be the area of two triangles, ito saka ito. So we have 2 times 1 half times the base, which is 402.21, multiplied by the height, which is 115.33. And then we'll subtract the sector of a circle, or itong naka pink. So minus, by the way, if you want the sector of a circle, you can still use ratio and proportion. Now diba, the area of a whole circle is pi r squared. And so let's say we are going to take a chunk of that. Let's say this is theta, and then we want to get this area. Now to get that area, we'll just use this relationship. Diba, pi r squared is to a whole revolution of 360 degrees. And so if we'll equate that dito, we have the area of the sector divided by the central angle. So we have theta. Ito yung gagamitan natin. So since alam natin yung radius, we have pi times 402.21 squared divided by 360. We have the area in pink or the sector of a circle divided by the central angle. Now diba, this is also 16 degrees. Kasi itong total angle na ito, that's just equal to i. So this is 32 degrees. So we have 32 here. And so now we can solve this area. So we have pi times 402.21 and then squared divided by 360. That's equal to the pink area divided by 32. So we have 4515, uh, I mean 75.51. And then that will be the yellow area, which is what we are looking for. So we have 2 times one half times base which is 402.21 times 115.33 minus 45175.51 so that'll give us 1211.37 so the area of the fillet of the curve is 1211.37 and then our unit is m squared so this is our answer